Adam Feuerstein, welcome back from your summer vacation. I missed you. Aw, thanks, Greg. You know, the time off was great, but, uh, but of course, I missed you, too. Um, you know, now that I'm back, I'd like to discuss a topic that you know, comes up often uh, in these weekly chats that we do, um, and that's upcoming FDA drug approval decisions. All right. I see that Gilead Sciences is expecting an FDA decision on a new HIV drug on Monday. That's the 27th. Can you tell me more about that one? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, the Gilead drug is called the Quad, or at least that's what it's called for now. Um, and as the name implies, uh, the Quad consists of four different HIV medicines, all combined into a single once-daily pill. Now, you know, there are a lot of different combination HIV therapies in use today, but what makes the Quad notable and significant is that if it's approved, um, the Quad will be the first HIV regimen that combines drugs from a single company, in this case, Gilead Sciences. Now, Gilead is already the dominant HIV company in the world, but even its most successful drug regimen to date includes at least one medicine from another company. So with the Quad, you know, that all changes. Um, Gilead books 100% of the profits from sales. So the quad is an important growth driver for Gilead. How big? Uh, it is, you know, especially if Gilead can convince doctors to switch HIV patients off of other competing HIV, HIV regimens and start using the quad. All right, so for that to happen, the FDA has to approve the quad on the 27th. Do you think that's going to happen? Yeah, I believe it will. You know, um, back in May, the quad was reviewed by an FDA advisory panel, uh, which voted 13 to 1 to recommend the drug's approval. So, you know, odds are very high that FDA follows through and grants full approval on Monday. Thanks a lot. This market has fewer players. We're in coming it. into a Monday where we're going we're to enter a new stage of tech. It's a stock picker's market. Welcome to the five dumbest things Apple on Apple reported earnings.